Oh, I was gonna say stop playing with me. Hi guys. I got like annoyed by how the camera looked. I was like, y'all better get y'all asses in here before I go lay the fuck back down. <laughs> stop playing with me. I'm talking to my laptop, y'all. Like I'm talking to the 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 um fuck it your birthday in 10 days period it must be bad bitch season <laughs> oh of course because tour season is around the corner i don't fuck with aries people but y'all enjoy y'all time a real nigga gonna be coming up I'm talking shit. You just told me it's your birthday. I'm playing. I'm playing. That's why you got to spend your birthday doing retrograde. <laughs> I'm just playing. Who that little bitch that was talking about my dress the last time I was here? Y'all ain't never seen this shirt before. It still came from my mama house, though. I got it from my little sister. <laughs> Apparently, see, in California, the weather was real, like, stupid. So it was, like, hot and cold all at the same time. In Georgia, you know, even though it be changing bipolar, like, it'll be hot one day and cold the next, it's still one consistent weather throughout the day, baby. And I forgot where I was. I went to my mama's house in a hoodie with nothing under it. These titties was out. I had to get a shirt for my sister. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm so happy to be back in Georgia, y'all. This would hold that. <laughs> It's nothing in California for me. Only little Hispanic niggas. Not in the part I was in. I should have went to like what? Like Inglewood or like what? Crenshaw or something? <laughs> Looking like a Crenshaw weave. Okay, period, Natalie. Let's see. Oh, I got intuitive messages for y'all. Okay, I got messages for y'all. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. All right. So, yeah. The song that was like, you know what I'm saying, stuck in my head. I just listened to it like five times before I started y'all video. I'm not going to hold you. And I know it's for y'all cuz I hate hearing the song cuz it reminds me of that nigga that broke my heart. He didn't break my heart. He just got to fuck on my nerves. But, um, yeah. It's like Don't You Lie by Offset. That nigga used to listen to that shit every fucking day. But, yeah. Um, y'all are good at looking good without designer. But, you know what I'm saying? If you don't wear designer clothes or if you're not, you might go into a more fancier, what are you saying? Um, a higher tax bracket soon. Okay. Like, I don't know. I see y'all going through a chapter of life where y'all walking through, like, designer stores, like, um, mispronouncing shit. Like, okay, okay. <laughs> Insulting the people that work there and shit. <laughs> Insulting the broke bitch that's with you that ain't got no money to buy what she want. <laughs> Even if you're not with nobody, it's a broke bitch next to you that can't afford nothing that stole. That bitch just window shopping. You pissing her ass off. So something like that may happen to you. Um, where it's like, you know, you can afford a lifestyle that someone else can't. And it's like, you don't want it. You don't care for it. You know how they be having millionaires and billionaires that be walking around and they be like wearing Jesus sandals and a hoodie, you know, <laughs> while bitches is broke. Um, what they be doing? I done did it before. I ain't talking shit. What y'all be doing with y'all, um, when you pay for the clothes and installments? I paid that shit off easy. I'm like, I don't even know why I did this. <laughs> I paid it off like a week later. I don't even know why I did it. Afterpay, these hoes trying to afterpay to look good, to look like they living a life they ain't living, and you get to live it like it's nothing. That's how y'all life going to be. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> I I like y'all be happy to live the life you live and don't let nobody take away you enjoying your life and your rewards from the universe. Don't be cocky. Don't be um a bitch. Don't, you know, be humble but still enjoy your life cuz now I'm thinking about how like at one time, you know, Lilo also to the dude was like, you know, as a rapper, he can't really be wearing the same thing twice. I was like, oh, you sounded like me when I first started YouTube. Um, I was just buying clothes and buying clothes. And then I got I got tired of it because I had a big ass class closet full of stuff. And that shit was annoying me. But I got to a point in life where I was that, I am that bitch still. But feeling like I'm on top of the world and that bitch, everybody wanted to like step on me. I got tired of that shit. Like, damn, y'all. Damn. Let me go just be a homeless hold in. <laughs> So don't let people stop you from living whatever lifestyle that you deserve. Oh, I watched that X movie everybody was telling me to watch. And she was like, I will not accept a life I do not deserve. Like, okay, calm down. Like, wait, you want to be a whore? That's going to get you the life you want? I don't know how that translated. But that movie was retarded as fuck. And I don't remember who kept telling me to watch that shit. But y'all just as retarded as that dumbass movie. But I'm going to still watch Maxine when it come out, though. <laughs> I'm going to go find Pearl and watch it when I get out this video because I need to see what the fuck going on. I love the movie trilogy. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Looking for the right one and fucked around and found her. Ooh. Some of y'all, like, either you're going to meet somebody new or you're dealing with somebody that feel like you fell into their lap. You was exactly everything they was looking for. So, you know, usually when you're looking for love, the universe don't give it to you because they want to play games and shit. Like, you can have it when you don't want it no more. Okay, bitch, now I don't want it. But, you know, um, I guess men get everything they want. The fuck? <laughs> so, somebody feel like they, they, they prayed for you, they asked God for you, and, they, and you was given to them. Um... Standing like a man when the world get cold. Okay, so if y'all stayed on top of y'all shit when the world was cold to you, you're getting good karma for that, you know, in return. Or you're meeting somebody that's went, they, they've gone through things, but they made it out and, you know, they was a man about it. Why you gotta lie to me? <laughs> Just be a man about it. Somebody trying to lie to you and you ain't going for it. Like... <laughs> Don't lie if you ain't no good liar. Like, don't lie if your lie don't make sense. Like, somebody may try to lie to you and it don't make sense. Like, man up, own up to what you did, okay? So, somebody not going to get away with lying to you. Um, That turned me off when niggas started lying. I hate it because, like, sir, as a psychic, the fuck? Stop playing with me. You can always tell when a nigga lying. They just be so stupid. I know I'm being mean to men as this reading starts, but I did get an intuitive message that somebody is like a sexist or misogynistic. It's like some of y'all is somebody that want to be with you, but they don't like you because it's like you're not what they deem to be a good woman. They're, <laughs> they like you, but you don't even have to be no one who's promiscuous or sexual. Um, and this person just sees you, you're attractive. So obviously you're a whore. This is like somebody that'll stay with an ugly bitch just cause they think that the bitch going to be good to them. Um, and they feel like they can't be with you cause you're too attractive. Okay. And they, so they feel like you a whore. Um, nobody's ugly. I'm sorry. You know, like men be trying to use me as they in the house bitch sometimes, but I would never tell y'all that I'm ugly because I'm I'm in love with myself. But, you know, somebody got like one of those. If it's not about being ugly, somebody got like one of those girls. Because, you know, sometimes I be talking shit and Ohana be on the other side of the equation, sadly. So, you know what I'm saying? My bad. But sometimes, you know, men like to keep the girl that they deem to be the good girl, the in-house girl that's not going to stray, that's not going to go against them, that's not going to run her mouth. It's making me think about how that dude chose that upside down smiley face bitch on Love is Blind because he felt like Jessica was too much for him. And then Jessica ended up being the bad bitch. She ended up being the bad bitch, the girl's girl, the sweetheart, even though she was so beautiful. And a loving mom. She ended up being the perfect <laughs> all-around 10 that he missed out on for some insecure bitch that cries every time that nigga looked the other way. That nigga can't breathe in the wrong direction without that bitch crying like, girl, 
You do not need to be on no date and show no love show if you that insecure about yourself. You got to, you know. Um, maybe that's why women have to wait for love. Sometimes when women want love, they be like really insecure and shit. So they can't really handle being in love for real. And you know, men always think they, they perfect. They always think they shit don't stink. They always think they the prize. So, you know, when they want love, it's just like whenever they ready. But whatever. I don't know. Maybe that makes sense. And, um... Don't lie. Yeah, somebody may be a liar. Like, somebody may be trying to lie. And it's not, like, don't lie. If you if somebody is trying to lie, you're not going to get away with your lie. You're going to make everything worse. Because, you know, um, like, a lot of stuff is going to fall apart. Somebody come trying to lie to another person. And, like, some of y'all don't lie because they got your ass on camera. <laughs> I don't know where you at. I don't know where you lying about. But they got your ass on camera, okay? Period. So, you know what I'm saying? And when they pull that camera out and show you yourself doing wrong, start throwing everything around. Do exactly what a nigga would do. Like, if you ain't black, I'm going to tell you how to get out of it. <laughs> when we get caught up doing some fuck shit. <laughs> not me, not me, not me. I don't do this because it's wild to me. A nigga will get caught up doing some fuck shit. And they'll just start cussing everybody out, act like everybody else wrong. Like, you ever try to see a nigga steal from Walmart and get caught? They're going to make a scene, baby. Okay? They're going to make the biggest scene. Thank you, Kay. You know, because I was just going <laughs> to just gonna say something mean. Thank you, Kay. Kay know that I'm overly sensitive. And <laughs> she knows that I'm like, <laughs> she, Kay deleted that bitch before I could say something. Thank you. All right. We all know Lilo is a little bit thicker. Y'all don't have to say it every video. Ask me am I pregnant and shit. No. Okay. And shit is not science. Get a bankroll. So when it comes to making money, you know what I'm saying? If you want it, it's yours. So you know people that sit around and they be complaining about how they broke? You don't want no money? Because you would have went and got it. Period. <laughs> Like, if I'm broke, I know I'm being lazy. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'll, I'll block them when they come back, Kay, because that don't really do nothing. But um, a lot of times, I know sometimes people be going through shit and, it, and people really be going through a struggle. But a lot of times when a nigga sit around and complain that they broke, like, you want to be broke. You don't want no money. Okay, so, yeah. And if you want, and if it's about getting a good life, you need more money. You want a different life, you need more money, baby. It's not, it's not rocket science. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. I'm going to pull some cards eventually, period. But, no. I saw this video clip on uh, Twitter. It's going to always be Twitter to me. I saw this video clip on Twitter, y'all, and this dude was talking to this little Hispanic bitch. I guess she his baby mama or whatever. And this nigga had the nerve to say um, non-black women want, the, want to fetishize a black man, but they don't want the struggles that come with the black man. And then she was asking him, so why don't you go be with a black woman? Because you're, you're fetishizing the non-black woman, are you not? So... How you gonna feel some type of way when you get what you give? <laughs> like, that's what you... Ain't that what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Why not stick by your black woman and the traumas that you put on them? Because, to be honest, black men be complaining about black woman this and black woman that. But if y'all feel like something's so wrong with black woman, it's really y'all fault. Y'all really the problem. Because get what? What y'all be saying when a bitch be all over the place? Oh, I know she ain't got her father in her life. I can't control if that nigga was in my life. <laughs> It still go back to you niggas. Like, it still go back to you niggas. Raise your children. Create a family. Sit your ass down and do right by them. Like, what are you talking about? Like, and he he just, he did not answer the question. She's like, then why won't you be with a black woman? You know? Your own people, yo, you got hate for yourself. Your own people not good enough for you. And then you want to go and you want to beg somebody else for, you want to be good enough for somebody else. It don't work that way. Like, you're weird. And I'm like, I'm like not one of those people that think, oh, black men have to be with black women or nothing like that. But the conversation was very interesting to me, you know. So, if some, maybe some of y'all, if someone did leave you for someone of another race, even if somebody like, you know, a Chet Hanks ass nigga and he think he a bumba clock boy and he left you for, you know, a Caribbean baddie, he can't handle it, he want to come home. 
uh, black, white, Mexican, what's all the different races of the world? I see people like this, black, light skin, Hispanic, and white. I don't really know all the extra, except the Brazilians. There's something quite special about them. <laughs> I love Brazilian people, but let's see. I'm gonna pull some cards for real, y'all. We're gonna put some cards. I feel good today. I thought I wasn't going to when I got on here. It took me so all day to get on here, but I feel good today, you know? Let's see. I ain't been wanting to read for real. But I, I can feel myself coming back into a phase. I be going through phases in life. So I know that I'm finna come into a um feeling myself error of where I just think I'm the best thing walking since sliced bread. And everybody need to see it. I need to share my gifts with the world. Help you guys heal and grow. Because obviously everybody needs me. I'm the bee's knees. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see. I had decided to watch a tarot reading earlier today. And then the girl on the tarot reading, she was like, she was talking and she was basically like, so, I don't even remember what she said before. She was like, so, it's crazy because the high priestess came out. She was like, so if you feel, I guess she was talking about healing and growth and shit or whatever. And she was like, so if you feel like you're perfect and you do no wrong and there's nothing that you need to change or grow from, this reading is not for you. And she said it kind of shady, but I instantly was like, hell yeah, you are right. Because I'm perfect, bitch. <laughs> nothing needs to be fixed. You right. I clicked out that bitch fast. I was like, oop, overstate my welcome. <laughs> I was like, you are right. You right. I don't even need to watch this shit. This ain't talking about nothing for me. So, I don't even know what I be looking for when I be watching tarot readings. I be bored. So, you know. The King of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. So, somebody is very attractive. Your soulmate. Some of y'all, um, be careful around a child. They may waste something on you or, like, you know, like, throw something at you or something of the sort. You know, like, they think they're playing games, but they really finna get their shit rocked. So, you know, don't hit a kid in public. <laughs> don't hit a kid in public, okay? But, yeah, don't hit nothing under three years old. After that, they'll hold no better, okay? Teach them a lesson. But, yeah. Um, so there's somebody that feels like they're never going to let go of you. You know what's crazy is that this person is very, very attractive. So why do they feel like you want to let go of them? Some of y'all, you are rejecting someone who's very attractive. Like they're every woman's prince charm, every woman's dream. Or if you're a man, like someone is everyone's dream come true. And you just feel like it's something missing. When you talk to this person, when you're around with this person, when you're dealing with this person with the page of pentacles, you'll be like, I don't know. Something's missing. And some of y'all, someone may be a little bit too perfect for you. Um, that's how you miss out on good shit. And then you be running around here crying when somebody break your heart. You just want a good man. You just want a good woman. But when God brought you one, you was like, ill. Aren't you a good person? Like, aren't you a good guy? Like, what the fuck, bitch? <laughs> like, you know you lose in a world where you're attractive and a good person and it's the reason people don't want you. Like, that's crazy. It's like, people need to struggle. If there is not struggle, like, the world has to be balanced with dark and light, like, peace and drama. People need to struggle or they feel like something is not right. They are, their spirit is unsettled. And that's how you know you need growth. That's how you know you need healing. Because, baby, me, I like my boring life, period. Unless we're going on an adventure or doing something fun, I don't want nothing extra. You know what I'm saying? You got a good man. Like, I'm one of those people. You got a good man. You don't need to be cheating. <laughs> if you know they're a good man. Some men pretend to be good men. You got a good woman. Why are you going out here sleeping with some rando, getting them pregnant? You wake up. You got an STD. All this crazy shit. You just ruined your life in one night. Y'all don't see how it happened in the movies? It be happening like that in the movies. But it be the woman. It be, <laughs> it be them. It's like two movies like that. Them temptation movies. Where the women start cheating on their husband and all of that. And next thing you know, they're caught up in some sort of life they can't get out of. So, I don't know. Be mindful. Um, some of y'all, if somebody comes... Okay, I got a very specific message, right? If somebody comes towards you, you know, somebody that always... Like, if you have a sexual relationship with someone, 
that always protects themselves that that always protects themselves. They always wear a condom, and all of a sudden they they like they want to fuck you raw. Yeah, run, bitch. They trying to trap you. They trying to impregnate you. Especially if y'all tend to break up a lot. Like if you be breaking up with somebody or trying to leave them, and you know they usually protect themselves from you. This is somebody that like never wants you to be able to fully leave them. They want you to be tied to them forever. So um yeah. Tell them don't don't switch up now, okay? <laughs> it's either that or somebody not in a relationship no more. Somebody is like either one of those people that's like, if they put a condom on, they fuck you. That means they in a relationship. And if when they with you, they going all out. That means they single. So it's either one or two of those scenarios. So I don't know who y'all have like a sexual relationship with, but that's that's what's happening. So do what you want with that information. Um. What y'all think the condom make it not count or something? <laughs> if she never find out about it, if you don't get a bitch pregnant, if you don't come home with no diseases, it don't count. It never happened. If you say so. We got the tower card, the eight of cups, and the high priestess. So yeah. Somebody may explain everything about a situation that was hidden from you as well. Like some of y'all, you knew what was going on in the situation. Y'all had a situation going on in life where uh, people gaslit the fuck out of you. Not even just one person, like group of people, group of friends, whatever, whatever. Um, family, a business, it don't matter. You knew something and it is scary how much you knew about a situation um, and people were afraid of you because of it. And still they were just trying to hide things from you. People may have experienced towers from bringing you emotional trauma because they didn't want something to get out. This is like everybody trying to hide who one person slept with. That's, that's intuitively what I got. Like, I don't know if it's an ex. I don't know if it's a family member. I don't know what it is, but a bunch of people trying to hide who one person slept with to protect that one person. Like everybody trying to protect a bad person. And making you seem like a psychopath is backfiring or had backfired on them. And like somebody wants to explain to you why things happened the way it happened or why they did what they did. So somebody could be named Clarissa, but somebody is coming to explain to you what you already knew. And it's like, or if you were Aries, there may be a surprise party that you don't know about, you know, and um, yeah. Somebody's trying to explain something to cover that up or hide it as well. Hey, Melissa. Part of your world. I'm not going to say that. But y'all know how that bitch took her, her voice and she was trying to cover it up. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> that's Blueface Mama name. It's funny because toxic mamas, sometimes they be a hot mess and sometimes they be absolutely right. Like Tokyo Tony. Sometimes that bitch a hot mess, but she was telling y'all her daughter was taken by them demons. And guess what? That bitch came out covering up her Baphomet tattoo. And now they got a good relationship. You see? You see? You you make a mother... Y'all you, make people out to be crazy, and the whole time they telling the truth. And I don't know why people ain't learned that by now. The person who's usually deemed as a psychopath against a group of people, you would think because majority rules that there's something wrong with that person. But in reality... Majority is a bunch of snake ass hoes that can't be trusted. So, you know, a tower that was caused in your life, I don't care if it was 50 11 years ago, honey, you could be seeing, maybe you not seeing, you may not have seen that <laughs> you've been getting justice for a long motherfucking time now. Like ever since somebody threw salt on your name or gave you a bad image or reputation, they've been going through it. And, you know, sometimes people confess things so that they can come out of a bad place in life. So even if somebody wants to come and talk to you and tell you about something that went down in the past or why they did something, they could be trying to save themselves from um, their own suffering, their self-inflicted suffering. The mask has come off. Bills, bills, bills. It's someone that want to be with you, and um, they you can't just look good. You can't just fuck good. You got to be able to pay some bills. So either somebody is like the mask is coming off about you because you hell bent on money from them, <laughs> or the mask is coming off about somebody who can't do shit for you. So imagine somebody getting away with, you know, gaslighting you or 
staying close enough and far enough to where they don't have to put enough into the relationship or have to um or have to financially give to a situation, whether it's a love situation or not. You can have a business with somebody, and every time it's time to pay the rent for the um the booth fee, they got some shit that they got going on, or they away on a trip, or they acting like they didn't see the message. I don't know. Some of y'all unless somebody got away with paying bills for a long time, and I don't know how they got away for so long. So you might be asking yourself, like, I don't know how the fuck I let them get away with this for so long. But yeah. Um, somebody may try to come back to you and realize that they can't be with you because they can't play the same bit. They can't, they can't pay the same bills that they could used to pay. So it's like, oh, if you never had an experience with someone, if some of y'all, I feel like it's somebody you had an experience with. And I'm like, and I feel like at one point in time, somebody was like dodging you, even though they could help you. And now they want to be with you, but they really can't help you. And it's like, you're not going for it. So, you know, you and me are through. <laughs> and a lot of y'all, you could, you could be going through a breakup and you feel like you don't have to explain yourself. Like if somebody can't do for you uh, financially, especially if you're a woman, you don't want to deal with it. Um, yeah. I was telling somebody that recently, I was like, the only thing a man can do for me is to take care of me, whether I need it or not. Sometimes men be feeling like they shouldn't have to, like me personally, Men be trying to skate by with not really doing nothing. They don't be taken from me. I've been with a man that I've, like, been there for a broke nigga when he was down to get nothing in return. Um, I, I, I've been there twice. But <laughs> usually, and I've been taken care of by men, but usually because I don't really have, I don't deem people my partner in, and we in a relationship because they're not, they're not taking care of me. I'm a woman. I expect you to take care of me. If you want to spend your life with me, if you want to be with me, you're going to take care of me. Um, if you're just trying to fuck, that's cool. If you're not trying to put no, if you're not trying to take on no responsibilities, you're, you somebody I fuck. And if I find, and if I run into the person that can do what you can't do, then bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good life. You know, and that's not like, Men be so afraid of gold diggers and things like that. But nine times out of ten, when men, what I've experienced with men, the women that they give their all are the women that are gold diggers. They want so much out of life that the man can't afford. Bitch, all you got to do is buy me food and pay my bills. If that's a gold digger than you, then you're not a real man. You're supposed to take care of a woman. You're supposed to be a provider. Men don't like taking women on dates because you feel like you're wasting money. You ain't getting no pussy and this and that. La, 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 la. You shouldn't be dating unless you got the money to get to know somebody without expecting anything in return. So, the hobosexual, whoa. <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. This reading is like pulling out somebody that thinks they can get their looks and what they do in the bedroom can get them get away with them not contributing to you. And some of y'all may ghost this person, like, or if you did ghost this person, they want you to explain why you did what you did. And it's going to be so simple when you tell them, you're broke. <laughs> it's going to be so simple when you tell them, you have nothing for me. I don't feel bad, and I don't blame y'all, but I'm really picking up on that heavily because I got bills, 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 and a homosexual. Like, somebody can't live off of you. They might be mad at your ass, to be honest. Lover from the past. Yeah, this is somebody you dealt with in the past. If y'all ain't never took care of no broke nigga, um, be careful of somebody from your past coming back in your life when they don't have nothing to provide for you. Like, they can't help you. They can't. Somebody could be coming towards you at a time where they're going through something bad, and there's nothing that they can do for you, to be honest. Except provide you with a headache, child. I can do bad all by myself, period. And I don't need no one to come around me. And um, now that I'm thinking about that, um, someone could be abusive and want to control you and you and what you got going on, why they're not contributing to you, versus somebody who, even if they can't do financially for you, they'll do other things instead. They'll actually contribute to you and your life and whatnot. 
those are two different things. So if you know you have somebody in your life that you shouldn't give up on and you you okay with it, don't give up on them. Because now I'm thinking about that movie, how the dude was staying with her, but, you know, he was still fixing up her house and making money and taking care of the kids and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? A stay-at-home husband ain't the same as a hobosexual. So if you want to take on manly duties, you know. Why not have both? You ain't doing your job, so I hired him to do it for you. But you can still stick around. <laughs> Y'all can't take me serious. I love love for everybody else, but I think I'm a whore. No, I'm just playing. But um, I saw this video my brother posted, and he was talking about how the nigga in the video was basically telling a woman, you can't do what men do. You can't date multiple people while a man is dating multiple people. Women choose quantity. I mean, women choose quality and men choose quantity. Nigga, if you got, if you're going to be a hoe ass nigga, that's cool. But I'm going to be a hoe ass bitch. If you got hoes, I got hoes. Like, oh yeah, let me sit in this corner and perform my best stuff for you so that you see me as your best option while you go fuck everybody else. Why you go decide if this bitch got better hair than me? Why you go see if this one make you laugh more? I don't like men. <laughs> I don't like men. Like, I'm like, why? What are you talking about? That's stupid. And to think that a woman would never get married because she thinks that she can do whatever a man can do. Yeah, never married to your dumb ass with your mindset. Like, men need to remind themselves Y'all always looking at a woman and saying, oh, you can't keep a man. When you really need to ask yourself sometimes, do the bitch want to? Okay? Do the bitch want to? I've never been with, I'm not going to say I've never been with good men, but I've never been with a man that affected my life in such a positive way that I feel like, oh my God, what am I going to do next? No. If anything, when these hoes leave, leave and go away from me, a bitch go up. So, I hate men that think they are the prize. Some of y'all, somebody is around y'all like that. I hate men that think they are the prize. If I want to date multiple men at one time, exactly. You don't even have to be giving up the cootie cat. If I want to date multiple men at one time while another man, while a man is keeping his options open, men want what they want. They know if they want a woman. They don't have to pick, choose, and decide and see who else out there or not knowing if they want to leave this and that. They know what they want when they want it. So why would I sit around and wait on you because you're quality? If you were the quality that I desired, you wouldn't be making me feel this way. Like, you wouldn't be putting me in no competition or making me feel like a choice. Remember that, hoes. Don't let that man manipulate you. <laughs> Don't let that man manipulate you. Like, what I need all of y'all to start doing is anytime you ever out anywhere in your house, whatever you do, you need to always fuck actual affirmations in a mirror. You can do that too. But anytime you see a mirror, you need to look at yourself. You need to smile. And you need to give yourself at least five seconds to admire the person that you're looking back at. Mentally, physically, and emotionally. Who you are, your character, and everything. So you can understand that you deserve the best of the best. And you deserve whatever someone is giving you. Okay? You give people what they're giving you in return. Whatever that man is giving you, if it's not up to standards, you need to mirror it. A lot of times women get caught up, you know, in keeping themselves and holding themselves for one person that you're not realizing that you're missing out on opportunities with other people because you're putting all your hope into someone that has not put all their eggs in your basket. And then when you end up without that man, you feel hurt, you feel bitter, you don't want to let it go, you don't want to move on, you know it's meant to be, they're your soulmate. No. They the idiot that held up your life. That's what that is. Remember that, okay? And don't let them convince you of nothing else. And y'all ain't got to listen to me because I'm single, but, well, um, I always keep a man. I'm not single. <laughs> Oh my God, y'all, all right. I ain't never met a nigga that didn't want to come back.
most of my exes is stuck with other women while trying to get back to me. Okay? So y'all can y'all can take my advice. Y'all don't have to. But if what you doing ain't working, then shit. Why not try something different? I got a ring. I walked away. That's it. <laughs> That's all I got to say. But everybody's not like me. So I'm just giving y'all what I'm telling y'all is best for y'all. You know? Um, it's fucking hot. Like, this only happens when my hair straight. Like, stop. Or is it because I'm spitting that super hot fire? <laughs> That was so lame. Oh, my God. Y'all might listen to a really good album. It's hot as fuck in here. Oh, my God. Woo. How do you put this shit up? I keep telling y'all I'm going to cut this shit off. I think I'm manifesting that. I'm tired of shit being on my back. <laughs> I told the nigga, I said, I, been, I done cut my hair off twice. That boy said, I could tell. Your hair been the same length since high school. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't get past this length. This shit is hot on my neck. It's just ridiculous. Why? Jesus. I need my braids. I got the ten of cups, the five of cups, and the nine of wands. And then I got the hangman, the hermit card, and the queen of cups. Y'all are, there's a child that loves you so much. Even if, if, whether it's your child, somebody else's child. Um, some of y'all, if it's somebody else's child, they like you more than their mother. Um, especially if you're a teacher, like somebody likes you more than they like their mama and their mama be wondering why they always want to go to your house and be around you. It'd be pissing them off. But at the same time, when they with their kid, they be like, Oh, go sit down. Okay. <laughs> like, so, you know, if there's a child that always wants to be around you and that's always excited to see you, you are the best part of their day. So remember that when you're interacting with them. Okay. You're like the best part of their day. Um, I also see you spending time alone as well. It's, I also see you spending some time alone. No, this is not the season for boots. Some of y'all could be, you know what I'm saying, wanting to put on some boots this week, and then you might decide to take them off. It's not the weather for that. Also, you might be trying to stay away from somebody that betrayed you after you gave them so much love that they didn't deserve as well. We got the Ten of Cups, the Five of Cups. Somebody tried to sabotage you. Like, there was a big happy family and mm, if you ever had like a big group, a big family or a lot of people that loved you, somebody was very pessimistic, sad and emotional about that. They tried to sabotage this for you or this is happening now. Like someone wants to sabotage your happiness. There could be a family that loves you, whether it's your family, your work family, your lover's family. A lot of y'all is your lover's family. There could be a big family that loves you. And some pessimistic asshole is sad because they tried to get people to look at you in a really fucked up way and it didn't work. And you know, there's somebody that's weird because they like, they have this, you know how you tell yourself like never give up on your dreams. Somebody has like this dream of seeing you fall apart or sad or sabotaging you and they never want to give up on that dream. <laughs> they never want to give up on that dream, even though every time they try, it hurts them. Like it backfires on them. What I'm getting from this spread so far is that a lot of y'all are protected. When people come for y'all, whether y'all see it or not, um, they get done with. Like, they get dealt with. So, you know, like, yeah, they get dealt with. I'm not even going to hold y'all. I'm going to keep using this as an example. That little fat fucker from Texas. I was talking shit, and then I ended up in a state that wasn't my home, gaining hella weight. That was the exact same scenario he was in. I'm like, this nigga ain't worth shit, but he got some good-ass ancestors on God. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I've been telling God I'm sorry the whole time. But, yeah, that's what's going on. Like, somebody can speak ill over you, and then they get it back. Like, it comes back on them. Heart overhead decision. Nobody's supposed to be here. All right? There's somebody that you don't even necessarily want to be with, that you don't even necessarily want to fall in love with, that you don't even necessarily want to admit they make you happy. But... And it's like people are trying to <laughs> like imagine somebody around another person or around you trying to destroy it because they feel like you don't deserve it. And it's like, you know, 
you ain't even too deep into it. You don't even care that much for it. But it's like, you have such this loving, positive energy that everybody admires you. So it's like when people do try to hurt you, um, they get that energy where other people are like, whoa, why you fucking with an angel? You know, Ohana don't do shit to nobody. Ohana mind their business. Ohana sweet as hell. Ohana did this for me last week. Ohana got my car out the shop. Ohana, <laughs> Ohana took my daughter to her last recital when I couldn't make it. Like, you, nobody can talk down on you because you have such a good reputation. And somebody is like one of those people that is just like, they hate this reputation because they feel like there has to be something. You know those people in the movies, right? That be trying, the like villains, they be going out of their way. Ooh, that guy from Legend of Korra. He wanted to show how corrupt the world leaders were, that he became a corrupt person himself. Somebody wants to show a darker version of you so bad that they became like the darkest version of themselves to prove it. It's like, are they secretly evil and a bully or are you just the bully? Because at this point, like at this point, you're doing too much. <laughs> Crocker, fairies. I wish my body could do that little twitch he do when he say it. I used to want to do that when I was little. <laughs> that nigga ear on his neck. But yeah. It, and it's like you always prove, every time somebody says something about you, you always prove them wrong. You always prove the opposite. But yeah, some of y'all, this was your love interest. Like this is somebody you didn't want to fall in love with. Um, and they just became your worst enemy because you were so nice to them. Imagine you saying, you know what, God, I ain't even trying to go that way. And then you give in to it and the motherfucker trying to destroy you. It's crazy. All right. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Try again. This Don't get this person a second chance. This is somebody you still got love for. They don't deserve a second chance. Do what you want to do. This somebody, especially if y'all are like the type of people, this somebody that could have put you in a third party situation. You try to um, isolate yourself from this person because you didn't want to be in a third party situation. That pissed them off even more. Somebody's like, <laughs> you was like, I don't want to break up a happy home. I don't want to be a side piece. I love everybody and I love love and I hope you guys have a beautiful life. And they like, you know you want this dick, you lying. You trying to play the good guy. Like <laughs> somebody was mad at you because they felt like you was trying to play the good guy because you didn't want to be a part of a bad situation. So somebody wanted you to be okay with being a little secret. All right, what's y'all questions y'all want me to ask? We got... Mm. Yeah, it's 43 minutes. What questions y'all want me to ask? Don't you? That song's stuck in my head now. I'm clicking the wrong shit. I'm trying to pull up the video. April predictions, next 24 hours, next 24, next 48. I ain't did it. We do 21 plush. I ain't did no 21 plush in a minute. Um, next 48, career finances, 21 plus. You got a fine chocolate dreadhead that you're talking to. I'm still your man. Can you fight? I'm just playing. <laughs> That's my favorite journal, niggas. <laughs> no contact, new lover. Hey, 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 hey. Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. Okay. All right. Let's close. I'm going to go back up and read what y'all talk about. Whatever K put together is what I'm going to answer. <laughs> Y'all stressing me out. What your ancestors say about you? No, nah, because if they talk that shit, I'm going to talk it back. Like, what you mean I ain't been on my shit? Where the protection? Where the blessings, bitch? No, I'm just... <laughs> it's okay because it's not God. It's the ancestors. You talking to your great-great-grandma? Bitch, you up there in the afterlife ain't doing shit. Do your job. <laughs> Let's see. 
Okay, K, new love, April projections, next 48, 21 plus career. And no contact. All right, that's K's list. That's what we're going with. <laughs> All right, new love. Should I use this deck? This not no lovey-dovey deck. I'm going to use um this deck be cute as fuck. Let's see. I don't know where all my love decks is. Um, I'm not going to use a sexual deck for new love because y'all don't want to be sexualized. You know what I'm saying? Don't it feel good when you know your nigga fine? You don't even be mad at these hoes for wanting them, but you be mad at the same time, right? <laughs> He's like, look, look, bitch, don't touch. Look, look, don't touch. <laughs> I'm proud of you, girl. I can tell by the way you describe them. New love. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all I know I gotta shuffle the deck a thousand times Cause I don't know how to do the little thingy. <laughs> Let's see. New love. Y'all some hoes. We do new love every live. And y'all always looking for somebody new. Y'all some thoughts. I just want to let y'all know that. Y'all be meeting niggas every, in between every live, live and be like, uh, uh you ain't the one. <laughs> Shuffle them again, Lilo. Like, what the fuck? Horse. Okay, let's see. The Seven of Pentacles. Oh, this person like to waste a lot of time. <laughs> oh, niggas that don't, uh, niggas that waste a lot of time ain't really making no money for real. Oh, this somebody who money comes to them. So, you know, they got a lot of time on their hands. This somebody that can pick and choose when they decide they want to, they got like a good savings account. They can pick and choose when they want to, you know, get up and get some money. Okay, okay. This person could be a Virgo. They could be kind of long or they like to wear like long ass hats. Like, you know, I just feel like when they wear hats, they don't fit on their head right. Like this somebody you'll want to pull their hat off when they come around you. But yeah, um, they got a lot of people that are competing for them or want them. This somebody that's scared of the hoes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, yeah, I did tell y'all to keep a roster. Okay, period. Yeah. <laughs> Stay hoeing. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. Her life, for sure. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. Keep a roster. Yeah, okay, you right. You got You got me. <laughs> if I don't get my life together, I'm going to be as big as Drewski ass in a minute. Let's see. Ain't going to be no turning back then. I'm going to become a fat-ass porn star. If I ever become fat as fuck, that's the only route to go. Is to become a fat ass, nasty ass porn star. I don't know why, but I give up. I give up after that. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, this person could be a Virgo. This is somebody that's scared of the hoes, y'all. Like they know a lot of people want them, so they stay in their house. This also somebody that when they go out, drama. It's just too much. This somebody that be like, every time I go out, some shit go down. I stay to myself. <laughs> They be saying stuff like that, you know, so this person, this an old ass man or woman, they don't care about nothing but money. They don't want to hang. I don't want to kick it with you. I don't want to skate with you, little ugly boy. They highly intelligent as well. You know what I'm saying? They got a highly, um, uh, a big vocabulary, you know, so they know the big words, the I don't know. I can't think of a big word right now. This person going to be able to teach you stuff. They smart. They loyal. They might not even trust your ass. Um, if you end up having conflicts with this person off the back, it's because they're not 100% if they should trust you or if you're going to bring problems into their life. So this somebody that you would think is out exploring their options, but they really trying to look deeper into you to see if you're going to be a problem or not. 
So, you know, if this person give you their time or attention, it's a big deal. It matters a lot. But I do see that y'all would, like, have conflicts off the bat. Because you'll feel like this person not really trying to put, like, their time or energy or invest into you for real. But that ain't what it is, you know. They could have hella kids, too. But that don't have to be the case for y'all. Um, they could have a lot of siblings, like, a lot of badass siblings. Somebody is, like, one of them people that if you go hang out with them at their house, it's a, ba a badass kid going to come right in front of you. Damn, bust his ass right in front of you because he run around the house and he ain't supposed to be. You know, you're going to see two little girls snatching each other hair out. That's why your mama ugly type shit. Badass kids. Ooh, busted and dusty. I don't want no scrubs. Y'all attract scrubs. Is this Y'all attract, y'all attract people that's not on y'all level. This person, not that. So this somebody that you may think is a bum, but they not a bum. Like you might... Another conflict that could arise is that this could be somebody that really got a lot of money, but you don't believe them. You feel like they're a bum, especially if they got too much time on their hands and they always at the house or something like that, or they always want to be at your house. They're not broke. You think they're broke and they're not. So. Or when they get to you, they wear their comfy clothes. That means they're comfortable with you. There's somebody that got to be dressed up when they're around everybody, but when they get to you, they're in their comfy clothes. Because they <laughs> this type of motherfucker to wear a vest for you. want <laughs> some Carlton shit. It's my best vest. <laughs> like, okay. I'm hearing Luther Vandross. Okay, Luther Vandross. They like R&B music, too. This somebody, like, when they around you, you would know the true them. Like, they put on a show for these hoes, and they would show you who they really are, you know? They like you more than you know. So you be tripping out on this person. You be bugging. You be all over the place. You be swearing they this, swearing they that. But they really like you a lot. Like this is somebody that's kind of, they really invested into you. But you don't know that because they be hiding themselves from you all the time. This is somebody that's just like scared of you taking their goodies. Mm-hmm. She wants a Marvin Gaye. My mom and my sister was just talking about Marvin Gaye. She texts a group chat talking about some, I ain't know Marvin Gaye got shot by his daddy. <laughs> Don't trust your daddy. <laughs> you hear that ambulance in the background? If that motherfucker call you and it's been five years, you better uh, ignore that phone call. I ain't saying he gonna shoot your ass, but I don't know. That nigga can't be trusted. <laughs> you hear the ambulance when I said that? Do not trust your father. Leave Dark Vader where he at. Okay, um, what's next? Let me see. I can't go up on the comments. Let me see. Let me try. You left a drunk voicemail and he think you funny? I can only leave drunk messages to niggas I know for real, for real. <laughs> like, I'm not the girl to take serious if you get a drunk message from me, though. Like, I'll probably be drunk and bored if I drunk text somebody. Why are you embarrassed if he think you funny? You just won brownie points. He's still there? That means you can do whatever you want. Oh, 21 plus? He's still there after you send him that drunk text? A nigga that don't like you will be like, psh, tripping. That nigga yours. Okay? Drunk and rapping. Oh, yeah, that's embarrassing, girl. You left that nigga a verse? <laughs> you, left, you left a verse on that nigga phone? That's what you telling me? Oh, somebody else said that. Okay, okay. Nisa said that. Oh, I'm like, that? That is embarrassing. <laughs> Julia. You know, I never make a fool of you. <laughs> I ain't never got drunk enough to rap for no nigga, no cap. Like, I don't. I ain't never got drunk enough to just spit out no rap, for real. Like, I need whatever y'all drinking, for real. I told a nigga I was drunk one night. He didn't believe me. He told me, you ain't drunk because I sounded regular. Like, yes, I am. <laughs> I, I got self-control. <laughs> you said that's romantic? Girl, that is embarrassing. If that nigga drunk rapping to you, that's romantic. If you drunk rapping to him, that is embarrassing. If you not Cash Doll or Mulatto, I don't know. I ain't. That don't sound good to me. <laughs> I need to hear the rap you love. That motherfucker gonna put your ass in the studio. 
Like, hell no, nah, do it again since you bad. <laughs> I can see it now. That boy finna take you and make some money off you. They always want to text the group chat when I'm working. They sending so many messages in this damn group chat. I'm talking about my family, y'all. I ain't got no friends. And I just want to know, like, what's tea? <laughs> what the fuck y'all talk about this much? Everybody done came to the... Everybody up in that bitch right now. I'm going to see everybody name pop up. <laughs> Imagine rapping in a nigga voicemail and then he put it on the beginning of his song. Like, oh my God. Y'all done got me with that scenario. The 21 plus. You gonna be the voicemail at the beginning of the song. It's who's single. I don't know what I am. I'm human. Who said that? <laughs> I'm human. I'm a robot. I didn't get y'all, I didn't say five different answers this whole reading. Somebody got same sex fantasies for you. Or you dealing with a masculine that has same sex fantasies. Okay, somebody having sex flashbacks about you. This could be a Leo that's having sex flashbacks about you. If we ever sent this person videos, they use it to please themselves. This is low-key this person's way of manifesting you or keeping you tied or binded to them. This is the type of person that'll like <laughs> shoot they <laughs> on the phone screen. Okay, like this is the type of person to really this person can come to pictures and videos if you fully clothed. Like, all right, if you post thirst traps online or you just that attractive, this person could come to you easy. Um this could be somebody who pays for sex or someone could offer you money for sex soon. You know what I'm saying? Don't miss out on your blessings trying to be a holy person. Okay. Also, there's somebody that may, some of y'all may get invited to a sex party or you may go out with friends and everybody horny at the same time. So, you know, everybody in their own corner is getting fucked. Something crazy. Just a crazy 21 plus reading. Y'all nasty. What I'm reading about. What y'all got going on? Or you don't know this what your masculine energy be doing. Like if you meet somebody or you start dealing with somebody, um, they fuck with everybody. Okay? When these niggas for everybody, and I mean everybody. The blacks, the whites, the Latinas, the men, the women, the transgenders, the non-binary ducks, everybody, baby. The more the merrier. They done been some places and they done seen some things, okay? And they want you <laughs> to be a part of this. This is the type of person, like, you know, they pay them boys on back page to pull up. You fucking, you fucking with P. Diddy. They may even have a, a BDSM fetish as well. I keep trying to twirl this bag and keep getting hit. But, yeah, this person loves kissing you, too. So, this is somebody that, you know, you've put your mouth on. Girl, if you knew what you put your motherfucking mouth on, you'll be ashamed of yourself. You don't put your mouth on on Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> this is the second time we done referenced them crazy ass uh movies, them little them little situations them girls be in. This person likes talking to you nasty. Alright, so you're gonna get a very shocking message from this person soon, you know, because they have been trying to manifest you. This somebody's been trying to manifest you for a long time. Um, if you were unsure if somebody wanted you or somebody liked you, you're going to have a very for sure answer soon. This person may want to take care of you. <laughs> it says spread it open. The spread eagle. Okay. The dirty bum, 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 bum. All right. Yeah. Be careful with this person because this is the type of person that you know, you end up on a, you end up behind <laughs> You might have to stab this motherfucker one day. But, you know, um, I don't feel like this is somebody you can control. I feel like this is somebody that manipulates their way into everything that they want and desire. You know? And I don't know if they're trying to manipulate you. I'm hearing that it don't work. It don't work for you. Like, that's why you moved on from them in the first place. Because what they're trying to force you into or manipulate you into doing, you know, you can see past like their charming ways or the money that they have. This is somebody that's like, I'll give you, I'll give you 5,000 right now if you lick his ass for me. 
I'm just making up a crazy scenario. I don't know. Some of y'all is that wild. And um, and you'll look at him like, nigga, hell no. But they feel like your coochie real juicy and creamy. And they miss that. They want that. They need that. Um, especially if you ever sent this person videos of you. This is somebody to like shop you around. This is somebody that if you send them footage of you, they'll show other people that they are like, like if this is somebody that does like sex parties and things like that, they show other people your photos to see who trying to, you know what I'm saying, who trying to join the party. So you might not know some of the things this person has done behind your back. Yeah. This is somebody that'll um, offer you up to their friend and you don't know nothing about it. Until you get there and they both sit, sitting on the couch looking at you crazy trying to see what you're going to do. Okay? Like this type of person to sit there with somebody and like try to ease you into some shit that you didn't know you came for. So I don't know if y'all really want that 21 plus reading. Well, y'all saying no in the chat. But I know who you really are. <laughs> How this person feel you be trying to act all sedity and perfect they know who you really is so this person has convinced themselves that you belong in this lifestyle with them whatever lifestyle it is that they live in you know and just a motherfucker you fuck around and find out you got a pimp you ain't know you had you think y'all was having fun together y'all was doing all this nasty stuff having fun together the whole time he's been making a bag off you this is the type you make videos with. They put it on OnlyFans behind your back. So I'm just telling you, this right here is a nasty song, okay? What's next on the list? Oh, all of a sudden, it's 200 people in the chat. Y'all is nasty. That's what it is. You see? Y'all dirty. Y'all got some dirty minds. What's next? Is it like next 48 hours? I'll do that. That's not crazy. It just sound like Hollywood in a spread. <laughs> it just sound like the industry in a spread. Y'all talk about P. Diddy this, P. Diddy that. But if y'all be watching like the documentaries on old Hollywood and everything, the stuff he doing not really new. So none of it's new. They got a they got a um movie called something baby. I don't know if it's like little baby or something like that. And this this lady is literally playing like a twelve year old. Like, I have never seen the movie, but I know of it. Let's see. Wait, next 48? I'm trying to see what Oracle cards I want to use. Fuck it. Y'all don't get one. A lot of communication coming to you in the next 48. Your phone going to be blowing up. And now I'm on the hotline. Somebody going to be blowing you up early in the morning. Okay, you might find yourself talking nasty to somebody. So all y'all, some of y'all could go out with friends or you could be enjoying yourself and having fun in the next two days. You might have so much fun or get so lit that you need some water. You might find yourself dehydrated. You're going to have a lot of options, okay? And some of y'all, you're going to be out with friends or there's a group of friends where um, it's like a group of friends against a group of friends, like, Everybody trying to figure out which one they want. Like a group of fine niggas, a group of bad bitches. Everybody trying to pick out which one they want at some sort of party or gathering. So y'all could get lost as well. Either you can't find your car, you can't find your hotel, something like that. And you might travel a lot. Y'all might um, be trying to figure out what option you want to choose when it comes to doing your hair. Be careful of going out and getting so lit that you like sweat your hair out as well. Oh, don't say that. It's not my reading. It's not my reading. Sometimes these readings like end up like little shit be spilling over and happening in my life. I don't want to hear that shit. Okay. Don't act right, bitch. Okay. Don't play with me. I, I don't want y'all to see me slap myself in the head. I don't want y'all to know just how fucked up in the head I am. But yeah, with the seven of cups, some of y'all could be having some vivid dreams as well. Like your dreams could be very vivid. And even if you, nothing happens to your head, something may happen where somebody, like a little kid, wake up and you like, uh-uh, come here, child. You ain't going nowhere with me like that. You know when you finna go somewhere and you finna go get in a car and a little kid be like, oh my God, can I go? 
can I go auntie? And her head or his head look a hot ass mess. They ain't got on no shoes. They in their pajamas still. Uh-uh. You got three minutes to go change or, <laughs> or I'm leaving. Something like that may happen as well. But I'm seeing y'all really enjoy the next 48 hours. I see a lot of things happening very fast, like positive things, very enjoyable things. And a big like um, dream come true for you as well. You might be one of those people that like wake up from your phone. Like a lot of people hit your phone and they congratulate you about something that you didn't even know was happening for you. So something could happen overnight for you as well. Like a lot of people could want to congratulate you out of nowhere. And you're going to be like, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Imagine waking up and people are just like, congratulations. Yes, go girl. You did it. And you're like, did what? Okay. I don't even know who to message back first. Um, that would give me anxiety. So <laughs> something really positive may be happening so fast that it's, it's too much and it's going to give you a lot of anxiety as well. So, um, what's next? What's the last question? Oh, is it the last question? Y'all is, we is way past the 60 minute mark. You'd like that though? I'd be like, God, is it real? And I don't even know what I'm asking about. <laughs> I wouldn't like that. I'd be having that little stuff in my eyes when I wake up. I don't be able to see. I'm like, bitch, what is this? Get out of my face. Like, motherfuckers trying to call me, and I'm like, I'll call you back. I got to wash my face and brush my teeth. Like, I'm not even all the way here right now. <laughs> I went to bed at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's 9. Don't expect me to be happy when you, when you call my phone. April prediction, career, and no contact. These gonna be quick. Imagine telling everybody thank you and then going back to sleep. And they thought y'all was gonna get together and party. <laughs> oh. We did finances and career. We talked about it. Let's see. Oh Lord, you your manifestation being a, when you look better, when you feel better, you look better, you do better. Okay, that's that's y'all's advice for y'all finances and career. When you're in a high vibration, when you're feeling good um, from the inside out, when you're healthy, when you're well rested, that's when your work is the best, and that's when it's easy for you to manifest. Somebody may be mad. Some of y'all, if you get money with your partner, somebody's mad because. They got a broke hole. So some of y'all, a couple competing with you, and it's like somebody was, there's an ex that's broke because they chose a broke bitch over you. Like the person that they chose ain't got no work ethic. So when you, this like a this like a case of when you was in somebody's life, they was getting, they were getting it. They like the bag was just falling in their lap. They ain't have to go get it or nothing. They ain't have to chase. They ain't have to run. They ain't have to break a sweat. Now they split in Twinkies with a broke hole. So, you know career finances you're going to be doing very well financially all right and it's going to be making you feel better as well like your career flourishing is going to make you want to try harder when it comes to being happy <laughs> like when it comes to being active in life like maybe some of y'all are just like bored you don't want to really care you don't really care about things right now but this cur this career success or this huge manifestation is going to put more umph put more umph into life for you. It's going to make it more enjoyable. It's going to make you want to take more action. So, April predictions. Let's see. If it's anything like March, baby, I'm going to sleep. The Knight of Pentacles fell out reverse. That shit went slow as hell. The World card reverse. Ooh, excuse me. This month might actually fly by. So be careful you don't miss it. And the justice card. You could spend a lot of time on the internet in April. Some of y'all may be doing some um some long distance travel and getting a court situation like like fulfilling a court situation. Like if y'all have any legal matters going on that you know the cycle is still open and you haven't dealt with it, you'll be dealing with legal matters that'll get you out of the situation in entirely. Like you won't have to deal with it no more. So, you know, some legal matters were holding you back. You're going to be handling that in April. Okay. That's it. That's the April prediction. Mm-hmm. And no contact. Let's see why this bitch don't, they want, they don't want to talk to you. Don't want to talk to you. I don't know why you still want to talk to them, but they don't want to talk to you. I'm just playing. 
they do want to talk to you. Nine of cups, you make them happy. Um, this person, somebody didn't want to talk to you because they was broke. See, this is a respectful young man or a respectful young lady, but we're going to take it as a masculine energy. This is a respectful young man. Don't come bothering me, bitch, if you can't take me to dinner. Like this, we like this guy. <laughs> or somebody couldn't continue to pretend whatever they were pretending to be for you. But they, somebody starting to realize, I think, I think this person loves me for me. Maybe we can be together. So... Some of y'all are somebody not talking to you. They found somebody that fulfills them emotionally. If somebody not talking to you because they found another lover, they're not going to be able to keep this person. This person wants to be single from them because they don't have enough to um, satisfy this person's lifestyle. So if someone left you for another person, they're going through a breakup. Okay, so that should make you happy. <laughs> if you in no contact because someone chose another person over you, they can't satisfy this person. Um, they were pretending they were something that they were not to have this person. And it's like, they were like, okay, they're in love with me now. They're not going to leave me. Psh, bitch, you crazy. You got to be crazy. But um, y'all, somebody was staying away from you because they feel like they couldn't afford your lifestyle. They feel like you were just perfect and that they were not good enough for you. And with the Ace of Wands, especially your friends, if your friends are really judgmental, they didn't want that energy up on them. But this person may want, somebody new may come in for you outside of this person. They could come back as well, though, because you fulfill them emotionally. But you might decide to stay single from this person because you don't know what was happening with them, you know. You don't know that they was going through it financially. So you're not going to really want to hear whatever excuse they have when they come back. And um, someone new will end up coming into your life. But I feel like this person was very fearful of being judged by your friends. They really don't like your friends. They don't want to fucking with you. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, they had that honcho energy. All right. But, yeah, this person could reach out to you. But you might be in your bougie rich bitch era. Like, the way they thought that you would treat them when they first had you, you probably wouldn't have treated them that way. But now you would treat them that way. I don't know. Like, however they felt like you felt before is how you actually feel now. So, I don't know what that's about. Yeah, we're done here. Okay, I'm gonna go watch that Pearl movie and I'm gonna eat ramen. I was like, maybe you won't eat ramen today, but I am. <laughs> I ain't got, <laughs> I finished my leftovers, my chicken leftovers. I gotta go buy some more groceries. I just got home. I ain't got no groceries. I got ramen though, so that means I got groceries. That don't work for everybody though, it just worked for me. <laughs> Imagine coming in my house being hungry as fuck and ain't nothing in the pantry but noodles. It's a variety. <laughs> you got bodak, you got shin, you got machoon, however you say that shit. I got shrimp, I got beef, I got the little Japanese noodles, I got curry chicken, I got regular chicken, I got the little Indonesian stir fry noodles. I got it all. Like, what is you doing? <laughs> we in paradise. And a bitch got soup dumplings. Like, stop playing with me. I'm finna go eat all that shit. <laughs> okay. Everybody keep talking about sodium. Sodium. Baby, I ain't never seen no fat Asian that wasn't no sumo wrestler or no cute ass little baby. So, I don't want to hear none of that. They doing it every day. And they can kung fu kick you in the fucking face. The fuck? Girl, I ate all the chili noodles. The green ones? I used to have them. I ate them. I had them before. I ain't got them right now. Them the good ones, though. I got cups, stir fry noodles, too. I got a lot of noodles. All right. Bye, y'all. I'm going to go wrap up my hair so it'll be more tame the next day. I don't know if y'all know anything about that. If you keep this shit wrapped, that shit going to be flawless when you need it to be. Okay? Them noodles do go hard. My sister-in-law, that bit, that bit ate them in a soup. I was like, uh-uh, that's not how you do that. But I need to try that. Yes. I was like, she owned or something. Not too much soup, but just a little bit. It was so good. Okay? All right, my sink just told me to turn the video off. You heard that little drip, drip, drip? Good night, y'all. I guess I'll watch dishes, too.